So um, I, my, I've, I've been involved with the uh, public school system for over the past five years or so to really look at how we enhance our uh, school partnerships. So I, we have a 20-year relationship with the St. Louis Public Schools around a school partnership program, and I bring high school students into the medical school, and I teach them anatomy and physiology, and over the summer they do research in our, in our laboratories. But we really felt that we could do more. And uh, I had an opportunity uh, at the request of, of um, uh, Superintendent Kelvin Adams to think about creating a new school, uh, a magnet high school for the health professions. And so at the same time, concurrent with this, uh, Dennis Lauer at Cortex was looking at creating a, an incubator uh, for, uh, for uh, student, uh, students who would have an interest in you know, the, this, the, the remarkable uh, biotechnology is just, just proliferating in, in, through the cortex, as well as our focus on plant sciences and agricultural sciences. And so he was, he was thinking, you know, we, we, we need a place that could be an anchor. And, 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 and Dr. Al Adams was saying, we need a place that could really be, you know, the, just the nucleus for us generating um, uh, students uh, who become physicians and health professionals in St. Louis because they, they, were, they were trained here. And so we had this... This, this collaboration um, uh, with, with, with Cortex, Dennis Lauer in his capacity. Uh, I'm there at Washington University. We brought on colleagues from St. Louis University. And, um, and we, uh, we worked on, on expanding the school. We started four years ago uh, with the uh, Collegiate School for Medicine and Bioscience. Uh, but in the past year and a half, um, through um, uh, Dennis and the colleagues at, at, at Cortex, we really infused it with a little bit more of, of creativity, a little bit more sense of how can we make this a really high-tech, highly productive institution that would mirror any of the top-performing uh, health profession high schools in the country. Uh, and I think it, it, took, it took Dennis having access to people like Dennis and others at, at, at uh, Cortex to bring in that type of, um, you know, a, a type of, uh, uh, a type of uh, energy, a type of uh, excitement uh, that you, that you'd see in Silicon Valley, so if you may. So I, so, so I've been really just remarkably surprised with the progress we've made in four years. Now we've created this school, uh, the school, the Collegiate School for Medicine and Bioscience. We brought in some of the best uh, teachers in the region, the best students from across the region, since it's a magnet high school. Uh, we've created high standards. And those students have exceeded those standards. And in, in, in only three years of operation, they're pretty much outperforming most of the high schools uh, in the region with regards to science, acumen, the mathematics uh, performance. And so we think we're well on way to creating a, 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 nation, a national model for a high-performing health professional schools in the same way that I saw in, um, when I traveled to, to Houston to see the DeBakey High School. Well, we were initially uh, based, the school was initially based in a small um, um, building in the, the Skinker de Bolivar neighborhood. Uh, we clearly uh, maxed our capacity there, we reached capacity, and so we decided to relocate. And we were fortunate, and this is, again, because I owe it to uh, uh, Dennis and others who understood the need to be close, at least as close to the Cortex facility as possible. We didn't have space uh, that was affordable in, in that area. Um, and so we found an ideal location that was on uh, near the St. Louis University campus, essentially almost uh, you know a block um, uh, north of the St. Louis University campus. Uh, still, is very much uh, as you know, very, quite adjacent to our, our efforts uh, at St. Uh, Washington University and right on the doorsteps of St. Louis University. And so we really wanted to capitalize on both institutions, as well as all the other uh, programs here of uh, pharmacy, uh, nursing. How many students? Uh, so, we st so right now we have a, about 200 students uh, in the class, and, and we, within the next year, hope to uh, expand to 400 students. So we have the capacity to, to expand to maybe you know, 450 students. So our, our, our relationship with Cortex was, was uh, so beneficial because uh, Dennis Lauer and you know, others at Cortex really brought in a, a way of thinking that was much uh, broader, much more strategic, allowed us to think even more expansively than we had been when we were thinking about uh, developing or expanding, the, creating this new school.
And where are these kids coming from? It's a Magnet High School, so all across the region. From all is across it predominantly the region. from underserved neighborhoods? So, so about 50% of the kids are African American, and about a quarter, if not more of them, are from low-income communities based on you know, uh, their um, um, uh, family income as well as their uh, need for um, assistant lunch, uh, uh, school lunch program, free, free lunch program. And so about a, about a quarter of our kids really come from hard knock um, uh, homes. Uh, the rest are, you know, 50% of African American, the rest are just a, just a broad uh, group of kids uh, from, from throughout the region. Uh, a very, very cosmopolitan, um, white, uh, Asian, Middle Eastern, uh, Hispanic, uh, 